Hi everyone, this is going to be a short video going over and reviewing how to identify functions if a relation is a function. Right? So a relation is a set of ordered pairs. And ordered pairs, don't worry, an ordered pair is just negative 5, comma 4, any kind of set of coordinates that's called an ordered pair, and all of them together make a relation. So if you see this set of ordered pairs in this table of values, this is a relation. Right here, coordinates, this is a relation. And here are some graphs, and we're going to tell whether or not all of these are functions. All right, how can I tell if a relation is a function? Very simple. What is a function? Well, a function is a rule that assigns an input, which is the x value, to its own output, which is a y. Every x value must have its own y value. And the way I look at it is that if I see something, like say if they give you a table of values, if the x repeats at all, then I check the y. Right? If the x doesn't repeat, guess what? You have a function. Every input has its own output. Right? So we have my steps here. First, check if the x values repeat. If they don't repeat, guess what? The relation's a function. If the x value does repeat, then check the y's that are assigned to it to see if it's exactly the same y or if it's a different y. If it is a different y assigned to the same x, like if you have 2 comma 3 and then 2 comma 5, guess what? That's not a function. So let's get into it. We'll have the table of value, the table of values first. Identify each table relation below as a function or not a function. Taking a look at table A, looking at all of the X's. Do they repeat? No, I don't need to look at the Y's. If the X's don't repeat, I do not need to look at the Y's because I know each X has its own individual Y. The Y's don't matter if the X's don't repeat. Right, so that is a function. Let's go on to table B looking at the X's. Do they repeat? No, I am not even going to look at the Y's. It is a function. What about C? Let's take a look. Do you see all the X's? Well, the X's don't repeat. Guess what? It's a function. All right, remember what, wait, what I say. If the X repeats, that's the only time you look at the Y. Don't look at the Y's. That's only going to confuse you. Do you see this table here, how the Y's stay the same? But each X, zero, has three attached to it. One has three attached to it. Two has three attached to it. Three has three attached to it. If there was another, let's say, one, I'm going to move this down. If there was a one in this table, another one, see this one right here is attached to three, and it was attached to four, it would not be a function. That's what make would make it not a function. The X has to repeat and be attached to two different Y's for it not to be a function. Since this table is just what we have here as far as 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Guess what? It's a function. The X's don't repeat. Let's look at table D. 3, 3, 3, 3. 3 goes to 0. All right, we're okay now. All right, 3 again goes to 1, not a function.
that is not a function because not every x does not have its own y and there it is every x value has to have its own y for it to be a function this last table in d every x value has different y's so that means every x value does not have its own y it's not a function and that is that all right coordinates how can you tell if a, co if a set of coordinates in a re is a relation and that relation is a function or not well you do the same thing you look at the x values only so let's just take a look at the x values i'm going to highlight them three four five no x is repeating no x is repeating i'm not even looking at the y's this is a function every x has its own y all right let's take a look at the second relation down here second set of coordinates down here let's highlight negative two so far good zero good five good seven good zero okay now we have green here and green here zero occurs twice zero occurs twice and is attached to two over here zero is attached to 12 over here no good not a, a function remember every x must have its own y this is not a function because 0 goes to 2 and 0 goes to 12 you can only have one input has its own output right you have one input which is 0 going to two different outputs which is 2 and 12 and you can't have that that is not a function all right so the last one probably the easiest but still people get it confused vertical line test when you have a graph you draw a vertical line and with that vertical line pass that does it tells you if the x is repeating and has different y values right that vertical line will test if the x repeats with different y's so just take a look at this vertical line it crosses here let me just put this in a different color it crosses here and crosses here I drew that vertical line just like that vertical line comes down hits here and here so this could be something like two comma four that point coordinates and this could be two comma negative four do you notice that the X is repeating and it's going to different Y's? The output is different for the same input. And that cannot be this right here. This first graph is not a function. The X value repeats. Different Y is assigned to the same X. That is not allowed. This is not a function. All right, let's take a look at this one. It crosses here just once. Guess what? That is a function. Every X has its own Y. Every X value has its own Y value. And no matter where you go ahead and draw that line, you could draw the line here, crosses only once. You could draw the line here, crosses only once remember if it crosses once it's a function you could draw a line here crosses twice still right here and right here not a function so let's go ahead and look at some graphs identify the coordinates below as a function or not a function all right they're not coordinates they're graphs so 
let's take a look at this. I'm going to draw my vertical line here. And I know that that crosses only once. Is this a function? Yes, it is. Crosses once. That means every x has its own y. And no matter what you do, no matter where you draw that vertical line, it's only going to cross once. So let's do another vertical line for b. How many times does that cross? Yes, it only crosses once. So that is a function. Let's do another vertical line. Draw that another vertical line right there. And it is crossing just once right here. It is a function. And let's draw another vertical line right here. Draw that vertical line test. And do you see that this crosses twice? If it crosses twice, not a function. The x is repeating in this area right here and here, and it's going to different y's. It has a different y output assigned to the same x input. So, not a function. And, by the way, no matter where you draw it, it's 2. It goes through twice. All right? So, I just wanted to show you some tricky questions. And we can end this video. So the tricky questions. All of these are trick questions. A lot of people get them incorrect. So I'm going to draw my vertical line. I'm going to draw a vertical line right here. So say I draw my vertical line there. How many times does it go through? Well, taking a look at it, it's only once. So, is it fair for me to say that this is a function? Well, no. Remember, a vertical line test, if you draw that vertical line and it crosses two or more times any in any part of the graph, then it's not a function. So, just take a look at what we have. If I draw my vertical line here now, I have... two intersecting points and it crosses twice so if it crosses twice that means this is not a function that is not a function it crosses once here and it crosses once here it does not matter that it crosses just once over here. It's the time that you can have it where it crosses twice or more. Right? The second tricky question is really tricky. So I'm going to draw my vertical line right here on top of this line. Do you notice that you can't see the line anymore. So, how many times does it cross? An infinite number of times. If it crosses two or more times, it is not a function. Every vertical line, every vertical line is not a function. It's because it has the same x. If you take a look, say I'm just making up numbers. Say this is negative 5, 3. Negative 5, 3. That point right there. This is negative 5, 1. This is negative 5, negative 1. Look, negative 5, 4. Negative 4. So we have the same x going to different y's that is not a function be aware of that right so the last tricky question that i wanted to go over with you is in a form of a table of values so we always say check the x's first if the x repeats then normally it's not a function but there's one time where the x could repeat and it still is a function and this is that one time 
So I'm going to highlight the x's. So I have 0, I have 1, I have 2, and I have 0 again. Both of these right here, let's go ahead, the 0 repeats. So you're going to say, not a function. That's wrong. Because you have to check the y's. So the zeros output, the y value, attached to 0 is 2. This is the same thing. So since that input has its own output, the same output, this is called a function. Right. So just be aware of those tricky questions because they will ask them on a test or something like they will ask them over and over again to try to get you to be confused or to answer incorrectly to really assess if you understand fully what a function is and what a what, um, uh, something that is not a function. All right. I hope you found that video useful and thank you for watching.